To ensure proper tree tally within variable radius plots, the instrumentation must be used properly. With an angle gauge, the viewer's eye should be over plot center, unless the gauge is built into the device or the distance of the gauge from the viewer's eye is fixed, attention should be paid to maintaining the proper distance between the gauge and the viewer's eye. The gauge should be perpendicular to the line of sight from the viewer's eye to breast height on a subject tree. With a prism, the center of the prism must be held over plot center. The prism should be perpendicular to the line of sight from the viewer's eye to breast height on a subject tree. The prism should not be tilted in the plane so formed. Two additional important points regarding use of angle gauges and prisms for tally of variable radius plots. The assumptions behind instrument usage is that the line of sight from the instrument to breast height on the tree is horizontal. In sloping terrain, instrument usage must be adjusted. With more costly angle gauge instruments like a Spiegel Reliscop, the adjustment is automatic. An advantage of the prism is an adjustment for sloping terrain can be made by tilting the prism to an angle equivalent to the angle of the terrain slope. Getting the correct tree count is of utmost importance when sampling with plots. With variable radius plots, the distance of tree can be from plot center and still tallied as a function of tree DBH. For borderline trees, the distance the tree can be from plot center and still be tallied is obtained by multiplying the tree's dbh, measured to one-tenth inch, by the plot radius factor for the instrument being used. For example, if using a 20 VF instrument, a 10-inch dbh tree can be 19.4 feet from plot center and still tallied, 10 times 1.94. The measured distance to compare to is horizontal distance, plot center to tree center. 